guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're gonna to be talking everything Bianco Leggero. That's right, our favorite pot is back and we're gonna be getting into it. But before we get into the video guys, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe down below, show your girl some love. You guys can also find me over on Instagram at Maison Molly. We truly do have a spectacular time there throughout the week. And if you want to be a part of the coffee party, you can find me right here. Let's talk Bianca Leggero. Hey friends, uh, welcome back. It has been a spectacular week. Why? Because Bianca Leggero is back in stock. Are y'all excited? I know you guys are excited because We've been talking about it all week on Instagram. Um, you guys were able to order the pods yesterday, and so I know that it is going to be showing up at a lot of your doorsteps this weekend or this coming week. And of course, I couldn't leave you guys out here high and dry, so today we're gonna talk a little bit about Bianco Leggero. We're gonna do two of my favorite Bianco Leggero recipes, all-time favorite, super easy to make, and we're gonna get into everybody's favorite Nespresso pod. So as you guys can see, I am ready. I got four boxes four boxes of Bianca Leggero yesterday at the Nespresso store. Um, it was available in store a little bit earlier. Um, luckily, I still had a little bit left over from an earlier purchase, so I personally never really ran out, but I will say that I was using them sparingly so that I wouldn't run out. So many of you guys hit me up on Instagram asking when would the pod be back? Um, a lot of you guys said I took a poll, insert it right here, and a lot of you guys said that you would be purchasing Bianca Leggero once it did hit the website, and so I just wanted us all to be prepared, have some delicious recipes. So um, first, if you've never heard about Bianca Leggero before, this is what it's going to look like. So it comes in this uh, sleeve, and it'll say, um, it'll say Bianca Leggero right there, right? Um, Bianco Leggero is actually a part of Nespresso's barista collection. So um, it would be like Bianco Leggero, Bianco Forte, chocolate fudge, um, vanilla custard pie, the hazelnut one, the caramel one. They're all a part of the barista's collection, which means that they just pair back nicely to milk. So Bianco Leggero is hands down my favorite for a great iced latte, a great cappuccino, any of those drinks that are heavily milk based. What makes Bianca Leggero super special is that it's a 2.7 ounce pot. That means that it's a double espresso, meaning you won't have to use up your pods and one will be perfect for a drink. I love Bianca Leggero primarily because of the taste. So Nespresso typically uh, describes Bianca Leggero to have biscuity notes and I agree with that. It's a very like smooth, creamy, rich kind of flavor. And honestly, if you've never tried it, like you gotta get it, you gotta at least give it a go. You can't be an espresso lover and not try Bianca Leggero. So uh, that was just a little bit about the actual pod. Uh, anything that I am missing, let's see. Caramel notes. So that's gonna lend back a lot to the recipes that we're gonna make today. First up, hot because it is cold in California. I don't know what is going on. You guys can see that I have like a little sweater thing on because it's just been cold here. Um, but yeah, first I'm going to make a warm drink. I'm going to make a double cappuccino. It's probably my favorite drink to make with Bianca Leggero. And then I am going to make, uh, I'm thinking an iced caramel macchiato because caramel macchiatos are bomb with Bianca Leggero. Just thinking about it, I'm like so excited. So so that's it. We're going to go ahead and hop into these super easy recipes. Definitely looking forward to seeing you guys trying them and posting them on the gram over on Maison Molly. So first up is going to be the double cappuccino recipe. Honestly, easiest, simplest recipe you'll ever make. You literally just need four ounces of milk, of course, one Bianca Leggero pod, and you don't have to use the syrup, but I absolutely love this recipe with coconut syrup. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. If you wanted to do rose, vanilla, lavender, whatever fits your fancy, you can do that. But we're gonna be using coconut for mine. So 
All we're gonna do, this recipe actually calls for the barista recipe maker, which I do own, it's right here. But I know a lot of you guys don't have it, so we're just gonna go ahead and use arachino, super easy. By the way, how cute is this little um, milk pour thingy that I got from Amazon? Um, it's so sturdy. I'm gonna go ahead and link it in my Amazon store for you guys. So again, yeah, super easy. We're gonna pour four ounces of milk into arachino, and then I'm gonna do two pumps of my coconut syrup. One, two, right? And then we're gonna head on over to the base of arachino. Got our lid, and we're gonna go ahead and foam the milk on the hot setting. There we go. Also, just because you guys always seem to ask, um, my pod holder, I purchased it on Amazon and it is also located down below in the description for my Amazon store. Okay, so now that we have foamed our coconut milk, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into, I decided the larger coffee mug. Okay guys, so now that we've got our milk all set and ready, we're gonna go ahead and Brew Bianco Leggero. Looks like it is all done. Our double uh, cappuccino. Let's go try it out. Alrighty, so I am back. It is done. Our double cappuccino made with Bianco Leggero, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little mix. I'm kind of excited to be drinking this because it's so cold and gloomy outside in California. Very different. It's usually not like that here. So it's going to have this beautiful biscuity color. Love it. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Very nice. Bianca Leggero, very biscuity and sweet. It's like the perfect treat. <sighs> so nice and warm and cozy. I love this one. I think that this double espresso, it's actually an espresso recipe. That's where I found it. So I'll link it for you guys to try. And on Instagram, I also have a reel of it on my profile. That's how much I love it. Um, but I figured it should make it into video form. So really good drink. Definitely worth a try if you're looking for something warm and comforting. Yeah, really good stuff. Let's go ahead and make an iced drink for you guys because I know how you like iced drinks. We're going to be making an iced uh, caramel macchiato. Should be pretty delicious. Second drink up is going to be an iced caramel macchiato. Um, all of my favorite things. I've got my A2 milk, five ounces, my favorite, favorite salted caramel syrup from Monin. I actually haven't opened this bottle yet, so excited to get into it. Uh, some Tarani Pure Made uh, Sauce Caramel. And of course, the star of today's show, Bianca Leggero. So let's go ahead and make this iced caramel macchiato. First off, guys, I always take my Tarani caramel sauce and drizzle it into my cup. So just all around, all around town. <laughs> Some in the bottom as well. It's going to be drizzled all around my glass and some on the bottom for good measure, right? Then I'm going to go ahead and add some ice to this. So super simple. Now we're just going to go ahead and pour milk into the arachino again. Five ounces. And then you're going to do two pumps of your caramel syrup. I'm just going to do an average because I'm opening this on up. And plus, I don't mind if it's a little bit sweet. Was, was that a lot? <laughs> And then we're just going to go ahead and foam our milk on the cold setting this time since we're making an iced caramel macchiato. Alrighty, so it looks like our milk is all done and we've got our caramel sauce waiting. Let's go ahead and add our milk. 
Be sure to leave enough room for a double shot. Okay, friends, so it looks like our macchiato is all ready, but I am gonna go ahead and garnish it with some whipped cream. We're gonna top it off with some more caramel drizzle. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is she? Let's go ahead and drink it on up. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, friends, so I have got my caramel iced macchiato. Look at it. It is like freaking perfection. Let's give it a little mix. Oh my goodness. It's like spilling everywhere. Bianca Leggero for the win. <laughs> Guys, just everything about it is perfection. Like, no shade, but why would you need to go to Starbucks again if you got some Bianca Leggero in your house? This is so good. This tastes just like the caramel macchiato at Starbucks, if not better. Trust me. It's a goodie, guys. I don't know what else to say. Like, it's so yummy. And um, I'm happy to share these recipes with you guys so that once you receive your Bianca Leggero pots in the mail next week, you're going to have drinks locked and loaded and ready to go. Let me know in the comments down below, did you purchase Bianca Leggero on Friday when it reappeared on the website? Um, do you love Bianca Leggero? Is it not a fave of yours? I love it. I'm interested to see what you guys think. Drop it in the comments down below. Let's chat about BL. And don't forget, if you are making your drinks, um, tag me and Espresso over on Instagram. Maison Molly made me do it. Um, I'd love to see what you guys are creating with your Bianca Leggero pods. Also, guys, I wanted to touch on the new coconut pod, okay? I gotta say, I'm really disappointed in Nespresso because I've known about this pod maybe for like the last two to three months. I go to the boutique all the time and so I'm always inquiring about which pods are coming out next. I knew it was coming out even before uh, the last launch of La Complida um, de Refinada. Sorry if I butchered that. And I'm super disappointed that the brand just decided to randomly pick some people but not have other people. Like, that's not cool. We all love the brand and now we have to like sit there and wait and I don't like it. I'm kind of pretty upset because you guys know I love coconut. Like I love coconut creamy lattes. I love coconut syrup. So this is kind of the pot I've been waiting for all year. So kind of bummed that I have to wait even longer and I get I get it that it's like marketing and all of that but it's not cool to like just send some people a link because we're all loyal customers right we all love Nespresso and it's not it doesn't come off nice I think when you're just picking and choosing who you're gonna give exclusive things to right so what do y'all think about that were y'all feeling that whole let's give it to some people code but not not other people i truly didn't like it and i am disappointed and i'm gonna say what i'm disappointed i'm not here to be this shining star all the time for nespresso you know what i mean like if i don't like something i'm gonna say it and i didn't really think that was cool but you know that's just my little two cents i'm still by it though when i'm able to and drop the review <laughs> But um, did any of you guys get it? Did y'all get the codes? Are y'all the lucky ones? Are you guys gonna send me some Molly one of your your coconut pots so I can try it out and review it? Hmm? Hmm? How much y'all really love me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But if you did get it, I want to hear about it. Like, drop it in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the new coconut pot. See you guys next time.